Alright, okay, so uh, this is the first voiceover tutorial I've done for Minecraft before, and it's going to be on how to make a pitfall trap that's activated by a lever. Uh, I've never really done these before, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go, but hopefully it'll be alright. Um, basically, the way you want to start doing this is, well, dig a shallow pit. I have made mine 7x7, seven seven, and... Um, you want to make a three long, three long kind of trench, and on one side of it you want it to be too deep. So after you made it that, you make you want to make sure that these are all filled up. You want to pour the water in, and it should fall down into there. You want to pop your wheel lever here, and then build. Basically, what you're wanting to build is a tunnel. So this is where your your whole magic of the pitfall is going to start. Start. This is where the chain reaction starts, basically. And uh, you're gonna want to put a torch here, and anything that has physics in it, really, you want to place on top of it so it can be sand or granite or whatever. But I pick granite because mm -hmm. I, I prefer using my sand for other stuff, and granite doesn't really have many uses, so at least it's been put to good just here. <clears throat> so we're gonna start building up with our granite, and I'm not gonna really, I'm not really gonna do much. I'm gonna, I'll do three layers. That'll be, that'll be fine. So we've got all this. And I'll show you how this works over here. So you've got your whole granite structure built. If you, once you do is pull that out and it'll start to fall over. And how it works is once you pull that out, the granite starts to move so it loses the hold of the torch. So that falls out, which takes away the one above that, which is resting on the torch, which pulls out their torches and it just starts going up. So we're going to have a look see if this works. So. We've got a lever over here which you can attach to redstone or whatever. Pull that, the water starts to flow and your whole pitfall kind of works. So if you keep building up, you, you should be able to make a f an entire floor with uh, just your granite and you can cover it with sand or and something else that has physics in it to make it look a little bit less kind of suspicious. Right, I've, I've built another one over here. Um, I didn't really spend much time on it but you go anyway. Right, so we've got our whole sand there, uh, our sand floor here. We've got our lever here, which is our trick lever. And it's to open this door here. But our real lever's up here. Which is attached to which it, go, it goes around the building attached to redstone. But this is our real lever here. So I'm the one that's gonna know that that's my my lever. My way in. My way in. So we go around the side here. And we see that that this lever is attached to exactly the same mechanism for the water that we saw earlier. And basically when I pull that lever up there, or when somebody else pulls the lever up there, it's going to send the water coming down here, and it's going to hit the torch on the other side. So let's go around the other side and have a look at this. Right, once we come in here, you'll see it's fairly deep. Uh, it's not fatal, but once it lands on top of you, is feel. Now for this I've done one side of the building as kinda safe because I don't want to fall on it myself by accident in case yeah, or if one of my friends does. But it's exactly the same structure. As you can see over there, there's a wee tunnel here for the water to come down, hit the torch. All of these are gonna start falling. And once they hit once they hit the ground, the granite will start piling on top of the person and it'll eventually kill them. But you know, you can make it much deeper, or whatever, for, so that the kills actually f the the drops fatal. But I haven't done it because I I've, I've not really had time. So as you can see, I don't really die when I fall. So we'll go and see how this works. So I'll come up here and let's go pull the lever and see what happens to the trap. So I pulled the lever. You should be able to hear water running. Oh, hit the ground. And. I've not died now, but because I jumped out. But if you look, the water's come out. All the torches are lying around, and the granite's caved in. That side that I put in to the wall, that's safe. But the person who's pulling the lever, they're probably not in any particular rush to get to the door, so they're gonna fall. And if they stay under that granite, they're gonna end up dying. So let's go upstairs and take a look at the damage. So yeah, this is basically how you do it. And if we go around to our little water mechanism, 
you see the water is now flowing down into the little tunnel and it's hit the top where it hit the torch so yeah it takes a wee while to get a hang of how to build it but once you do it's pretty it's pretty ingenious how to do it but I don't know the only ones that I've seen on YouTube were TNT pressure pad ones but I didn't think that they were particularly good or anything so I didn't really I didn't really want to do a tutorial on that because they've been done so many times I thought it'd be a bit different and do one that actually had a mechanism and stuff in it but the TNT one's fine as well I suppose but it's, uh, this one's a little less obvious because you can kind of tell when pr where pressure pads are and stuff for TNT so oh fuck I just did that but yeah this is a, our tutorial on how to make a pitfall trap with levers and redstone.